Lee Whitlock, who was known for his roles in Grange Hill and Sweeney Todd, has died aged 54. The tragic news was confirmed by acting agency Urban Collective via a social media statement. The agency branded Lee as a great character who left a legacy following his untimely passing. A tweet from Urban Collective read, saddened by the death of our client Lee Whitlock. Lee was a great character and a great actor who has left a legacy of brave and groundbreaking work achieved at a particularly young age. Lee was hugely entertaining, funny and positive to work with. Condolences to family and friends. R.I.P. Fans soon rushed to the microblogging site to pay homage to the late star. Lee Waddingham said, very sad news indeed. He certainly made an impression on me and his work on the two of us was groundbreaking and hugely important to the LGBTQ plus community. A legacy to be proud of. Condolences to his family and sending love to all at Collective Urban Hashtag Thate Wu Fistilli Vosberg typed, just wanted to say how gutted I was to hear that the brilliant actor Lee Whitlock died yesterday. He was a lovely person, modest, funny, and kind, wonderfully cheeky, forever boyish, and will be sorely missed by all that knew him. Mr. Matthew Todd added, oh no. So sad to hear that Lee Whitlock has passed away. He was great in the moving BBC early gay drama The Two of Us which was way ahead of its time. Dot also known to a generation from Shine on Harvey Moon. Bless him. What a sad loss. R.I.P. Lee's acting career began in the 1980s when he starred in hit TV series Shine on Harvey Moon as Stanley Moon. He went on to portray Beavis Loveday in series 16 of Grange Hill in 1993. The TV star then appeared in the 2007 film Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. The production saw him share a screen with Hollywood giants Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. Other titles Lee was known for include Wish You Were Here, Jack the Giant Slayer, Cassandra's Dream, and Wild Bill. Lee also starred alongside Coronation Street star Chris Gascoigne in Central Television's series for schools, starting out, in 1988.